Hello, oh, it's uh, Heath with South Florida Saltwater Fishing. Now, what I'm going to do right now is we're going to make a short video on um, how to rig up for fishing for yellowtail, which, like I've said before, is uh, it's my favorite type of fishing. It's simple, provides food, and it's, it's fun. Um, once I'm able to get out on the water, I'll actually show you a little bit more in depth of how to use what I'm going to do, but... For now, we're kind of stuck here due to uh, technical difficulties. So regardless, um, I'll show you the two. I use jigs when I'm uh, fishing for yellowtail. One is uh, my hookup lures, little boxing glove, eighth ounce. The other one's yellowtail candy. Same sort of boxing, they're kind of shaped differently. It uh, doesn't matter. I try to choose this chartreuse color to better, or I, can, I use pink, I use white. I uh, just switch it up. Depends upon the day of who's eating what. It doesn't matter. Again, they're eighth ounce. Um, again, uh, when you're going for yellowtail, you want to use as light of a weight as you can. You don't want to. You want to throw your bait in and have it sort of float down to the bottom, as if somebody threw a piece of bait overboard. Um, if it skyrockets down, you tend to pick up bottom feeders like grunts, blue runners. And uh, stuff that you might not be uh, targeting exactly. So, what I'll do is I'm going to take. I start out with a jig, eighth ounce. This is the uh, one from Hookup Lures. You can get these at Bass Pro Shops. Uh, come in a package of five, eighth ounce. And then I'm going to take a. Uh, I got a one o hook here. You can use anything, Eagle Claw, Mustad, whatever your favorite brand is. VMC if you feel like paying five bucks for a hook. I don't know. Whatever you want to. I use these are Mustad. One oaks basic hook. There's it's not a live bait line. There's nothing here. It's, it's plain and simple. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take it and I'm going to open up my eye so I can slip it onto the jig. So I take a pair of wire cutters. Now put it right at the open end of my hook and see how I've opened up the eye there. Now I'm going to take my jig. And I will insert it so that there. Now this is the way that I like the yellow tails with small double hook setup. Then you can take this back side of your wire cutters and sort of repinch your hook closed so that it clamps on and it won't come loose. And there you go. Now it's not going to slip off. And uh, that sort of, I, I do this sort of rig just so that it uh, kind of um, ensures a hookup. Small yellowtail jig hookup. This is the way I do it. Lots of folks just use the jig. Me, I put the second one on just to ensure what I'm going for. Also, you know, lots of times you'll reel up, um, fish will strip your bait off, you reel it up fast, you end up with a zero mackerel or a... Uh, small king or anything if you're in that you know 78 90 uh, water depth range and uh, you know this will kind of prevent a cutoff sometimes you get cut off sometimes sometimes you don't but this is my go-to yellowtail jig that's what it looks like okay now next thing I do is I uh, my Momoi if you've seen these other line these other videos that I've posted I'll take Momoi 12 pound test. I'm going to tie a spider hitch. First thing I'll do, spider hitch. So I've got my loop. I'm going to tie a spider hitch. Spider hitch, trim your tag, now I'm going to go for the Seaguar red label, 20 pound fluorocarbon, I'm not going to use what I would normally use, just for video's sake, I don't feel like killing all my fluorocarbon, alright, get you a piece, I normally use, you know, 6-7 feet of this, that way, uh, as you're fishing along during the day, you can kind of trim it back once it gets frayed up. 
uh, regardless for right now I'm using about three feet just for the video's sake again spider hitch is right here in this hand loop pull it tight so you find the center of your loop and then you're gonna to tie a no-name knot on the spider hitch you're gonna work your way back up towards the spider hitch knot itself uh, the cigar and this you can do seven wraps one two three four five six seven and then I'm going to take my tag end I'm going to stick it right through that little free loop right there hold it and start to cinch down on it and then you can see, I'll just pull it and it acts like, it's called a no-name knot. It gives you lots of shock absorbency for when the fish strikes. So, again here, right here, spider hitch, the loop, tied on to the no-name knot right here. Okay. Now, trim off our tag as close as you can because that's going to go through your guide on your reel as you're reeling up. You want to trim these tags off as close as you can. The knots aren't going to slip out. They're, they're strong. They're going to go through your guide, especially if you've got a six or seven foot leader on. I'll come to the end of my leader right here. Now I got my jig and I'm just going to tie on a basic clinch knot. Uh, some people use a no slip loop knot. I tend to not like that. That's personal preference, whatever you do. So here we go, got my loop, and I'm just going to tie a basic clinch knot on there. I'll use six wraps, the more, there's really no way to tell how many wraps you can use when you're doing a clinch knot. I, I'd say the stiffer the line, the heavier the pound test, the less wraps you have to do. So with my 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon, I do six wraps, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll come back through my little loop, good to go, Pull it, start pulling it down, hold on to my jig, and clamp. See my little tag end right here, good 90 degree, nice knot. If your knot doesn't look pretty, You've probably done something wrong and you might want to retie it. Otherwise, your chances of it breaking off when under pressure while fighting a fish are good. You don't want to, you know, go through all the work and be disappointed by losing what you've been trying to catch. So, there we go. And then I will hook this onto uh, my go to bait is Silverside or uh, Spanish Sardine uh, plug. And I will go over that in another video. But let me just recap. From the top, main line. This is hooked up to your fishing reel, which is what is going to gather your line. Spider hitch. Spider hitch is a loop, which is why you see two lines here. At the end of that loop, you have this, which is called no name knot. That is where your two lines, your main line is threaded to your leader. This leader here is the Seaguar, 20 pound fluorocarbon in this case, or whatever you may use. Again, this video is for all intents and purposes of yellowtail fishing. And then I pull it through, and I'm going to come to this guy, which is my yellowtail jig. Again, that's deadly when it comes for yellowtails. You get lots of hookups. Alright, tight lines, and I will see you out on the water soon.